Hello, everybody. Uh, back again now for some more uh, Bomberman 64. Uh, I played uh, the entirety of the, the first group of stages, so there's the Green green Garden or whatever the hell it's called. Um, so I've got that done and I'm ready to start today on the one called, yeah, so the Green Garden's all done. You can see the chain is no longer there. Uh, I'm going to do a blue resort. Uh, start off on the first stage here. Um, to be totally honest, this this is a weird game for me. Um, like I mentioned before, uh, you know, I've never really played much Bomberman before, uh, so I was really getting into something new, but even if I had, um, this Bomberman game I know isn't really like any other Bomberman game, so it's kind of like... <sighs> really? Every other, you know, every other platform in this game, Bomberman can't actually fall off of, so I don't understand what the fuck that was about. Um, but yeah, this this game is very different from really anything else that Bomberman uh, has been in before, so... Um, unless you've specifically played one of these, um, there's nothing, there's nothing to really prepare you for this, which is weird. Oh god. Um... And it's also not the best game for me, uh, because the whole the whole nature of Bomberman is the is that um, you know whether you're playing an old school Bomberman or anything like that. Fuck you! Give me the fucking give me the fucking thing. All right, this is one of the this is actually one of the biggest complaints I have about this game though is that a big mechanic of the game is picking up your bombs. Thank you. Uh, picking up your bombs so that you can pump them up and or throw them. Is that a good thing? Okay. Come back to that. Um, a big mechanic in this game is picking up your bombs and throwing them. Um, but also, just by walking into one of the bombs, you, um, you'll kick it, which is really, really annoying, because you have to be a certain distance away from it this one, I think. You have to be a certain distance away from the bomb to kick it, uh, to pick it up. Alright, fine. Um... This is basically the whole thing is puzzle solving, too, so I'm trying to focus on puzzle solving and explain, um, what the issues I'm having are, and also, you know, trying to make sure... Basically, be very careful, because, like I said, you're your own worst enemy in this game, and it's true of pretty much any Bomberman game before this, or since, that either either ones that focus on um, on an adventure mode like this, on the 64, or even just the multiplayer ones, or the ones that have a single player mode based on the multiplayer game, but the, the traditional game. Um, because your, your, biggest, your biggest foe is your own bombs and shit. Not getting carried away once you place a bomb down, or... Not... Oh, what the fuck? This is the worst thing, is I, I really do need the guide for this game, which is really fucking frustrating. Yeah, I got that. I know, I... I you know, I tried to read that up, read up on that before. I'm supposed to throw a bomb at... at this little bridge up here. So I'm not... Why is it giving me that? That noise, that little high-pitched... Are you fucking serious? That high-pitched noise that, that comes with the fact that I I wasn't able to load something up is they explained it to you that that's... Um, that indicates that your bomb isn't powerful enough to blow that thing up or to damage that thing or whatever it is. Um, so it means I need to go collect all the power-ups again. This is annoying. It really sucks when the only reason that you actually fail is... Pick this... No, pick it up! Is the door open? Nope. You can hear the, uh, the little high-pitched sound that comes with it. And like I said, it means that uh, whatever it is, 
isn't powerful enough to damage or make something happen. And you know what? Because I'm gonna be pretty much fucked. Yeah, I mean, I'm dead. I'm fucking dead. Whatever. I don't... I don't understand what this is telling me. I'm supposed to be able to knock down that bridge up the top of the stairs. That's what the guide says, that's what I think is supposed to happen anyway. I don't understand. No, no, not, not that one. But uh, also, if you couldn't tell, I'm not, I'm, you know, it's not, this hasn't been the, the best game for me to stream either, uh, because I have to multitask and think and watch myself. Number one thing to do is fucking watch myself because that's what's really fucking me up. You know, pretty much the first two times I didn't do it on purpose. The last time I did because I was trying to figure out where the fuck I'm supposed to go. Um, but it's not even just about making sure that my I don't get caught on my own bombs. But apparently now I have to worry about um, really. Fuck you, asshole. Let me do my thing. God. Now, see, just like that, just like that, in the in all of Green Garden, for all I know, um, any of any of the things in the stage that were like actual permanent death, because of the way the camera angles are, and I was very glad to see this. It was very forgiving, so it didn't actually allow you to walk off to your death. Apparently that's not the case with this stage, which is kind of bullshit, honestly, because it changed up the rules of the game then. That's all that means to me. It's over here. I mean, it's not like I can reach that. What is this? Oh, it's just a fence. Yeah, this is, this is what's supposed to be happening. I tried to pick it up. That's what I was trying to do. I was trying to press B to pick the bomb up. <sighs> you know, I actually really had high hopes going into this game, but it's just, it's the combination of it being so difficult for me to, to follow it. And things not happening when I'm trying to make them happen and when I'm told that that's the way it's supposed to work it's not it's not coming off the right way to me I think this one people will actually complain that I'm not doing something right or something like that but really holy shit like it shouldn't be this difficult you know yeah, I'm gonna get caught in the blast radius so it worked that time everyone saw that it worked but now I have a game over I don't Jesus Christ. Was I not pumping the bombs up enough before? Like... God, this is frustrating. It must be it must be absolute torture to watch me half the time if you played a game. If you played this game and you know it's not as bad as I'm making it out to be. But Jesus. Let's see if I can do it. I, I mean, I know I don't have power-ups and shit yet. I just want to see if I can do it. No, pick it up! Pick it up! For fuck's sake! That's the most frustrating thing in the world, actually. Because you only have... You get three lives. And... I have no way of knowing... If I'm close enough to pick the bomb up until he actually does it. And then by that point, it might actually be too late. Now, tell me I just suck at this game. I know that's, I know that's the case, but it's just... When it's something as stupid as that, it really does piss you off. <sighs> you know, it's it's really funny because um in the in the Prima guide that I have that I've checked several times now uh, since I started doing this, don't kick it. Pick it up. Uh, in the Prima Guide, when they go to discuss the controls in this game, there it goes. 
What, what the fuck? And he just walked right off. Um, they say, what they say is, if you've played Super Mario 64, then you probably understand the controls of this, but let's explain it a little bit further. I'm like, the controls in this game are kind of nothing like Super Mario 64. I mean, the main thing about this for me is that it's very different because you're playing a platformer with no jumping, um, with no free moving camera. That's that's another thing. You have to. I've I got to point out again that you have to control the camera, um, which is a, a blessing and a curse. Oh shit! Oh my god! I have this thing to fucking deal with. That's great. No two of them. All right. Oh, a bunch of them. Great. What the fuck? That's... that's ridiculous. Walked into the guy, I couldn't even see him because I'm supposed to be responsible for my fucking camera. Oh, I almost walked into the blast radius on that. Can you believe that? You must believe that. You're watching me. Holy shit. Holy shit. Hold on a second. Wait, just a gosh darn minute. Oh my god, really? It reached me way the fuck over there? Bomb his way. Yeah. Stop. God, that's fucking nerve wracking. Get up here. I'm supposed to be able to fuck with the water, apparently. Yeah. Smack him. Get him. Yeah. Damn right. Alright. See what else we got. Oh, that's not happening. Run away. Nope. Okay. One more. So the guide's telling me that there's something to control the water floor. Is this it? Is it something about a flower pot? Nope. Just destroy it. That's all. That's fine. Nope, still no hope. Uh, oh, what's up here? Hey! Is that it? Is that what I'm looking at? Okay, hold on. I think just stand up. Yeah, stand up. Cool. Alright, now I can go walk around down there. Awesome. Hey! Let's make sure I can see, for God's sake. Jellyfish. Let's see if I can roll those up while I'm doing this shit. Yes, I can. Awesome. Yeah. I swear to God, if I get hit by one of these things, I lose my last life and I'm fucking pissed. Birds with one bomb. Cool. Now, according to the book, I cannot kill that thing, so I'm just gonna run around it. Um. Let's go around this way. Oh, that's where I came from. That's that's actually where I came from the first time. Let's just go avoid those. All right, let's do it. Cool. Go up this way. First things first. Get the fuck out of my way. Sure, 
gets it. Get it! Nope. I don't know if I blew that up enough, did I? Stop! Yep. Yay! Oh, cool. There's also a thing for the water flow up there. Kick him. One more. Oh, shit. Almost shot me. Be careful with those guys, huh? Cool. First area. Got it. Um. Okay, so I can walk out here now. Go away. Out of my way. Hi. Now, uh, I don't know if anybody is familiar with this game, but, uh, that guy right there who is giving me tips and shit, uh, is a boss. Uh, the first sub-boss. So that's cool. What's up? And yeah, so still, still a sub-boss. Basically, she's just like, Oh, you are worthy. Get to fight me to find that out. Run away! <gasps> What's that? I don't know. Is it water or is it the bridge? It's the bridge! Yay! Getting there. I might actually be able to finish this level! Oh, that's actually- that is the level. It's not even about diamonds anymore, which is weird. Because that green arrow right there means the level's over! Great! Whole lot of frustration on that level. And... I just want to show a boss fight. Or rather, a sub-boss fight. Um, let's give myself an idea of how to do this. Cool. Sure. Let's give it a shot! I'm gonna- I needed to prep myself before this because I'm not that confident in my abilities to fight with Bomberman's abilities. My abilities to fight using Bomberman's abilities. Yeah, whatever. Yo, hi. Um. First thing we want to do, run. Yo, hi. Ah. Oh shiz. Oh, what the fuck? And yeah, the live pool carries over, so... I don't know how the continues work, I just... I keep, you know, I do keep losing lives, and then... It's just like, do you want to continue? I guess so, yeah, I mean, I don't have anything else to do. You have a save file of mine, so I don't know how it works. Now I get three lives. Nice. Great. Great job. Awesome. <sighs> really? Are you fucking serious? Oh, hey. Just, uh, chilling right there. Bye -bye. Hey! Actually, got a hit. Got that. Almost, uh, wasted it right there. Hey! I got her again! Wow. This is impressive. Bye -bye. Nope. Wow. Alright. 
lot easier than I thought it would be once I actually got one hit. The rest of them just came, huh? Cool. Um, so that's that's Bomberman. As you can see, I'm not uh, quite uh, capable of doing most of the multitasking that it takes to, to you know progress in this game while I stream it, comment on it, etc., etc. I'm also you know it's I'm also not cut out for this type of platformer. It's not really a platformer anyway, so uh, it's not a platformer without jumping, as far as I can as far as I'm gonna say. Um, if I do another video, uh, I would do the multiplayer mode. I know there's no multiplayer mode of supposedly in Bomberman Heroes, so this would be my only real chance. I'm gonna try and beat this game. We got stuff to do. Um, we're almost at the end of 97, so I'm looking to, you know, move things along. Uh, but if you suffered through that first bit of just intense frustration with me, I appreciate it. And, uh, thank you for watching. I'll catch you next time.